Okay, so shout out to this is going to be lesson three five and three six. So this is going to be about matrices, which we talked about a little bit yesterday with the augmented matrix. Um, so a matrix is just a way of uh, collecting information in kind of a condensed way. So they're calling it a, a rectangular array, but it, you know what it looks like, um, like those. So we have rows and columns, which we we discussed yesterday also. And so can you give me the dimension of uh, matrix A? Can you tell me what the dimensions are? Mm -hmm. Two by three. Okay, so matrix A is a two by three matrix. And matrix B is a two by two. Remember that you do row by column. So that's something we talked about yesterday, not something new. Um, each of the entries is called an element. And so to describe an element, you use... Um, those little subscripts down here. This means in matrix A, I want to use the second row, first column. So the little two one there means row two, column one in matrix A. So what entry is in row two, column one? Negative one. Okay, so A sub 1, 3. Somebody, oops, didn't mean to do that. Somebody else. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Not Olivia, somebody else. A sub 1, 3, what would the entry be? A sub 1, 3. So row 1, column 3, 5. I agree with 5. Okay, and then B sub 2, 2. B sub 2, 2 would be negative 3. So second row, second column would be negative 3. So th that little subscript there refers to the row and then the column. Okay, um, matrix A has a name already, but you can be a little bit more specific with its name <laughs> by um, giving it its dimensions also as a subscript. So you call matrix A, A sub 2 by 3. That tells you the matrix name is A and it's a 2 by 3 matrix. And matrix B would be capital B with a 2 by 2 down in the bottom there. Okay, now we're going to do some first some basic um, calculations with matrices. So adding and subtracting. How do you think, if you were going to add those two together, how do you think you would add them? What would sort of make sense? Okay, so if you add these, you would add negative 3 to not this one. You're trying to add the two matrices together. Oh, negative 4. Yeah, add negative 3 and negative 4, and the entry that will show up there will be the sum of the two. So that would be what number? Negative seven. And then to get our, um, kind of think of it like we're getting row one, column two entry. You would be using the row one, column two, and the row one, column two. Okay, so you're adding four and 12 to give you 16 in that entry. And then negative 9, Faith, would, what would you add to negative 9? Eight. 8, and that would give you negative 1. And Ashley, negative 5 plus Seven. is equal to? Seven. 2. 2. <laughs> okay, so... Adding and subtracting works exactly the way that you think it would. It's very simple, straightforward. Just add the numbers that are in the same spots. Now, you have to be a little bit more careful with subtraction. Do you get why it would be a little harder to do subtraction? Because of the negatives. So be, more, be careful with the subtraction. This really means you're going to subtract negative 4. So it really turns it into adding positive 4. And subtracting negative 3 would mean add positive 3. And subtracting 6 would really mean add negative 6. So what did I just do? 
if you turn this into a plus, what happens? That becomes plus, that becomes plus, and that becomes... And that becomes <laughs> negative. It's just like when you subtract a quantity, like if you're subtracting 5x minus 2, you say I'm going to subtract 5x and I'm going to subtract negative 2 so it becomes positive 2. Or if you think you're doing like negative 3 and you're subtracting it, you turn it into a double, a double positive. So all we're doing is saying when you change it into a positive, just change all the signs. So subtracting negative 9 would be the same as adding positive 9. Subtracting negative 5 makes it positive, and it would turn that one into negative. And then it's addition, just like the other ones. Okay, so Nick, first row, what would it be? Okay, it would give you... Negative 5, negative 9 plus 4 would give you negative 5. And then would be 11, 8 plus 3. And then 3 plus negative 6 is negative 3. Okay, second row, Jennifer, negative 2 plus 9, 7. And then 4 plus 5. Nine, and then negative seven plus a negative eighteen. Negative twenty-five. Okay, so adding and subtracting, very straightforward, exactly what you would expect. Okay, now for multiplication, this is called scalar multiplication. That's just when you're multiplying a number by a matrix. So if you were to multiply this matrix by 5, you would get 5, you'd write it as 5R. What do you think you would do if you were trying to do, get 5 times R? Basically, it means this, negative 12, 8, and 6 with the 5 in the front there, and negative 16, 4, and 19. What do you think you'd do? Just multiply everything by 5. Okay, so Mallory... Okay, so 5 times negative 12 would be negative 60. Mallory, 5 times 8, or 40 today. Okay, 5 times 6 is, I know, 5 30. times 6, 30. Okay, Gloria, 5 times negative 16. Can you get that one? Negative what? Negative 80, I agree. 5 times 4? 20. And 5 times 19? Uh, 95? Yeah, 95. 19 times 5, you got a 4 there that you're adding, so it'd be 95. It's uh, 5 less than 20 times 5, right? So 5 less than 100 would be 95. Okay, so that's called scalar multiplication. So that's pretty simple too, right? Now sometimes you'll see problems like this one where it's asking you to do multiple things. So let's do this in two steps. We'll do negative 4b first. There's a negative in the front there. Negative 4b in the front and first and then add the 3a. Right. So make sure that you multiply b by negative 4, which would mean you're multiplying this one by negative 4. Make sure you pay attention which one's a, which one's b. Okay, so negative 4b plus 3a. I'm going to write it up here. Plus 3a. Okay, so negative 4b, Lexi, negative 4 times b is going to be what? Mm -hmm. Okay, negative 48, negative 4 times 5 is... Negative 20. 
Okay, negative 4, and we're on this row now. Um, who would I talk to? Maddie. Negative 4 times the second row? Negative 20. And then positive 16. Okay, and then um, Caroline, question? Okay, negative 4 times the last row would be what, Caroline? positive 28. Okay, so there's negative 4b, and we're going to add to that 3a. So let's get 3a now. Olivia, first row. Negative 15 and okay, negative 15 and then 9. And then for your second row, Mallory, negative, or sorry, 3 times the second row would be 3 times 6, 18, and then 3 times negative 8 is negative 24. And then our last row would be 3 times 2 is 6, and 3 times 9 is 27. And then we're going to add those together. So add those, and your final answer will have what dimension? So if you add a 3 by 2 and a 3 by 2, you're going to get a 3 by 2. Okay, to be able to add and subtract, you have to have the same dimensions because otherwise you won't have something to, you know, add with the, the right thing there. Okay, so... Let me move my cursor out of the way here. Okay, so for the first entry, we got negative 48 plus negative 15 is negative 63, is that right? 13. Okay, negative 20 plus 9 would be negative 11. Negative 20 plus 18 is negative 2. 16 plus negative 24 is negative 8. Negative 16 plus 6 is negative 10. And 28 plus 27 would be 55. So there's your answer. So adding and subtracting and multiplying by a number with a, with a matrix are pretty straightforward and easy. It gets a little bit more complicated with the multiplication. Do you have any questions on anything that we've gone over so far on this? other than having to know how to do multiplication. Okay, when you multiply matrices, it's gonna get a little bit more complicated when we do multiplication of a matrix with a matrix. Okay, you can only multiply matrices if the dimensions match up correctly, okay? So only when it looks, uh, actually look at this statement first. If you multiply an A by B matrix by, uh, that should say A, B by C matrix, the dimensions in the middle have to match, and the product will be the first by the last. Okay, so the only time you can multiply is when the numbers in the middle of the two match each other. That would be, since it's row and then column, that would be the number of columns in matrix A is equal to the number of rows in matrix B. Okay, the middle dimensions have to match each other. So if you try to multiply A sub M by R with B sub R by T, because the R's match up, it's able to be multiplied and your dimension would be what of the product? Okay, so let's say you're multiplying a 3 by 2 matrix and you're multiplying that with a 2 by 5 matrix. I really should probably write this like this way. Here, let me put numbers. A sub, like a 3 by, I don't remember what numbers I used, 2 
multiplied by uh, 2 by 5. It'd be 3 by 5. AB would be 3 by 5. Okay, so yeah, this would be an M by T matrix. Okay, so you're going to use the first row and the second one for the column. Now that's important because it'll help you figure out what your answer will look like when you go to actually try to multiply the matrices. Okay, so is it possible, clear, is it possible to multiply um, the first two together? Are these numbers ones that you'd be able to, dimensions multiplied, could be multiplied together? Do the middle numbers match? Yes. If the middle numbers match, then you can uh, multiply them together and your product will be what dimension? 3 by 2. Okay. How about Jennifer? Can you multiply the second one together? Why not? The 3 there and the 5 there don't match. So, not possible to multiply them. Got to have the inner dimensions matching. Okay, and then uh, how about the last one? Faith, can you multiply A, which is a 4 by 6, by B, which is a 6 by 2? And you would get, yep, you would get a 4 by 2 matrix. Okay. Now, we're going to actually do the multiplication now. So I want you to write um, A first, 6, negative 3, and 10, and negative 2. There's A, and we're multiplying it by B, which is negative 5, that's a dot there, negative 5, negative 4, 3, and 3. Okay, so when you multiply matrices, you want to make sure, first of all, that they actually can be multiplied. What is the dimension of matrix A? It's a 2 by 2. And B is a 2 by 2 also. So your product, when you multiply them, you're going to get a 2 by 2. Okay, now, the way that you get the 2 by 2 So we're going to make a matrix that's a 2 by, you know what, I'm going to make this a little bit smaller so I can make sure I fit it on there. Um, the way that you get the 2 by 2 is by figuring out what entries you have. So this one right here is going to be this entry right here. Which row is that in? Okay, first row, which column is it? First column. So that means we're going to multiply, since this is uh, row 1, column 1, we're going to multiply row 1 of A by column 1 of, of B. Okay, the entry down here, which entry is this one? Row 2, column one, right? And we're trying to get a two by two. So this one over here would be row one, column... No, this is a little different because we're going to multiply matrices together. Rather than just multiplying a number by the matrix, we're going to multiply the matrices by each other. Um, it's going to work a little different, but first you have to figure out what's going to show up there. Okay? Ashley? You don't have to write this, but you have to understand this. So if you don't write this, that's okay, but you're going to have to be able to follow what I'm doing later. Um, hold on a second. The, the fact that you're, you're getting a 2 by 2, this is going to be the entries that we're getting at the end here, right? This, what is the, how would you describe this spot over here? It's not going to work like that. What is that entry? 
Which row is that? Row, row one, one, column. Which column is that? Mm -hmm. Two. And then the bottom one is row two, column two. two, column two. Now, when you do this, you're going to be using the um, whole first row from, from matrix A and the whole first column from matrix B. So this will be, you're going to multiply, for this entry right here, you're going to multiply the first row by the first column. Now, how do you think, here, actually, let me do this in highlighting. We're going to multiply this row by this column. Now, when you do that, you're going to do, match them up, 6 times negative 5, And then you're going to add the next product, which would be negative 3 times what? Negative 3 times 3. Okay, that's going to be that entry. Now, those come from, let's see if I can erase this. Those are coming from row 1 by column 1. Okay, so negative, or sorry, 6 by negative 5 and then add on negative 3 by 3. You have to match them up. Okay, this is going to take you a little bit to kind of get comfortable with this. I know that. All right, for the row here, for the entry here, that element is row 1 by column 2. So which numbers are in row 1? 6 and negative 3. Let me put that over top. 6 and negative 3, and you're multiplying by column 2, which is negative 4, 3. Okay, so tell me how to multiply those numbers together, those rows together. 6 times negative 4. Oops. Sorry about that. 6 times negative 4 plus negative 3 times 3. Now we're going to do the second row. And this will get easier as you practice it. Okay, for this one, it's supposed to be row 2, column 1. So that means you'd be multiplying row 2 here. Oh, sorry about that. You're right. Okay, 6 by negative 4, negative 3. Oh, no, it, though, that's supposed to be 6. It's this by this. So it'll be 6 by negative 4 and negative 3 by 3. No, that should be negative 3 by 3. It is negative 10. Jeez. It's good if I copy it right, isn't it? Okay, so that's row 2 by column 1. So that'll be negative 10 times what? Negative 5 plus negative 2 times 3. And then our last element. Ashley, can you tell me what that one should be? It's row 2 by column 2. What numbers are in column 2? Okay, negative 10. Times negative 4. Times 3, good. Okay, then it's just a matter of simplifying it. Now, once you practice this a little bit, you'll be able to do some of that kind of more in your head. You won't have to write it all down. Um, so since I'm kind of running out of room, let's condense this a little. Okay, so the first entry is going to be negative 30 plus a negative 9, so that'll be negative 39. This is here. Yeah. OK, 
Okay, the um, second one's negative 24 plus negative 9, which is negative, which is negative, negative 24 plus negative 9, which is negative 33, okay, and then a positive 50 plus a negative 6 would be 44, and then positive 40 plus negative 6, 34, and that's your product. Yay! Thank mm -hmm. you.